Hello, my name is Denise Shesbeck-Moore. Welcome to my channel. And I hope you love knotting as much as I do. Today, I'm going to show you how to create a design using this style of knotting. This is a necklace that I created. Today, we are gonna freestyle it. I don't have a bracelet pre-planned, so I'm just gonna design as I go. The tools that I have gathered for this project are Lindstrom round nose pliers, two pairs of chain nose pliers to open and close your jump rings, and Lindstrom wire cutters. You will also need an assortment of beads and uh, charms, jump rings, a clasp, possibly a head pin if I decide to create a dangle. And I am using three ply Crawford wax linen cording. It's my favorite. I'm also gonna incorporate this French wire, uh, French wire guards cording if, uh, you didn't see it, I just added a video on how to create French wire. You can go back and check that video out. Since I'm going to incorporate this little lotus flower, I'm gonna kind of check it out and see where I want to attach the cording to. I think I'm going to attach it right here. That looks like a good spot. Then the clasp will connect there. So I cut approximately 40 inches of three ply wax linen cording. And I'm just gonna use my fingers to form a needle. And then I'm gonna pick up the French wire and we're gonna pass it through. And I wanna go all the way down to the center, let me move this out of the way, to the center of the cording. So, let's see. Grab those together. I'm just gonna bring it down. From here, I'm going to bend it just a little bit. We're gonna open this side. And we're going to string our lotus flower right about there. Then we're gonna flip it around. We're gonna bring that together and we are going to form a simple knot. So we're gonna wrap it around. I use two fingers, pass it through, pull the cording through and then we are just Going to gently move that knot up and pull it tight. The reason I added the French wire is because I was afraid that if I if I attached the cording on here, that this sharp little edge would rub it and it would eventually break. So this is going to add some strength so that the cording will not fray and break. So now we're gonna string one of the appetites. These are columns or tubes. They're faceted, they're really pretty. And we're gonna string that down. We're gonna move those over to right about there and we're gonna form a 
another overhand knot. And I just move it down with my fingers. And then pull that knot tight. Now, since we strung that bead on this strand, we are going to go to the opposite strand for the second bead. So we're going to go on this side. We're going to string our bead down. Go right about there. And we're just going to form an overhand knot. And I just move my knots down. And then I pull it. Okay, we got to find the other side. So we strung it on this side, so we're going to go on this side. We're going to pick up another bead. We're going to pass it through. We have it lined up. Another overhand knot. And we're going to push that knot nice and tight. We're going to separate the strands. We're finding the side, the opposite side. Pick up another one of our appetite beads. I love to knot bracelets, necklaces. It's one of my favorite things to create. I find it super relaxing. So we just formed another overhand knot and we moved it down. So let's separate the strands again. Go on this side. We're stringing our bead down, bringing the cords together. Right about there. Now we're going to form. Another overhand knot. We're just sliding, sliding that knot down. We're going to separate the strands. Let's see, it looks like this side. Stringing our bead, bringing the cords together, right about there. I think this style of knotting is perfect for summer. This style of knotting also gives a very boho look to your design. Okay, let's separate. Stringing another one with appetite beads. Appetite is one of my favorite stones. 
I also love Amazonite and Moonstone. And we are forming another simple knot. Finding the opposite side. Stringing our next bead. Bringing the cords together. We are forming our knot. We're just moving the knot down. So let's check it, see how many more. Mm. Let's try one more and then we'll check it again. Okay. So we separated the strands. We're going on the opposite side. Bringing those cords together. We're forming our overhand knot. We're just moving. that knot down. So let me check it again. Maybe one more. Check which side you're on. You want to go on the opposite side. We're stringing that bead down. Come and form our last overhand knot. So now we're going to attach our clasp. I'm just stringing the clasp down. Right about there and then we're gonna form another overhand knot moving it down to butt up making sure it's not around the jump ring we're just moving that knot down and there we have attached our clasps. So now we're going to pick up our wire cutters and we're going to trim that end. You could trim it down here and dab the knot with um, super glue or GS Hypo Cement to secure the knot. A lot of times what I do most of the time is I like to come in and fray the ends. So I'm just using my round nose pliers and I'm just coming in and fraying, fraying the ends. So here's the completed bracelet. Now I'm gonna come back in and add a couple of dangles and charms if you follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with dangles and charms. So we're going to pick up a jump ring. This one's 8 millimeter. This is how you open and close the jump ring. You never pull it apart. So we're going to grab this little quartz. crystal dangle and then we're going to close that jump ring and then we're going to add a protective 
Evil Eye Charm. Pick that up. And we'll put it on this side too. And we're going to come back in. And close that jump ring. And I think we'll add a little dangle on this side. So I'm using a beaded head pin. I'm picking up one of the beads and we are going to create a wrapped loop. Using our round nose pliers, bend the wire back, move the pliers up, bend the wire towards you, move the pliers to the side, bend the wire back, come in and line it up. And we are going to wrap one, two, three. Using our wire cutters, we're going to come in. We're going to trim that in. We're going to straighten out our loop and we are going to tuck that wire down. And that is how you can, you create a wire wrapped loop. Now we're going to attach that little dangle. So I picked up a approximately, this is a four millimeter jump ring. We're going to come over here and we put it right at the base of the knot. And then we're just going to close that jump ring. And there you have it, how to create my brand new bracelet. It doesn't really have a name because I just created it. I'm thrilled with the way it looks. Um, comment below and let me know if you guys like this bracelet. I'm really excited about it. I think it turned out pretty cool. If you are watching me on YouTube, please like and subscribe at Denisha's Back More. Click the little bell so you will receive notifications on when I post new DIY videos. If you're watching on IGTV, please follow me on Instagram at Denisha's Back More. I hope you enjoyed this video. I love comments and feedback. I try to comment back on everybody who comments on me, and I hope you have a wonderful day.